Alright, welcome to part two. This is a first. Like I said before, this is cool. This is a first. We got part one and part two, but I think it's worth it just because I'm pretty excited about the topic. I don't know, I just get excited. Um, it's a new year, setting new goals, and reaching up and accomplishing them. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. I think where I left off, I was talking about um, enjoying when it seems like everything's going your way, you, you feel like you got success in your life. That's good, but sometimes we as people forget to keep working for the future. And that's the mistake I made. I feel like, um, for those of you who follow Goon on Minecraft, maybe you saw where he made that huge wheat farm. Like, the biggest wheat farm imaginable. But I almost think of it like that. Like, okay, he made this amazing wheat farm. And let's say he just collected it all. Collected it all and then enjoyed it, but didn't plant new seeds. And then all the wheat is gone now. After time, all the wheat is gone, didn't plant new seeds. Oh crap, that wheat farm is useless and he's got problems. <laughs> um, maybe it's not the best analogy, but I felt like it, it's a decent analogy. Um, but I just, I just say that to say, um, life is always a journey. It's always a journey to the next step. And I think, I think that's where I went wrong when, uh, when I was talking about that time where things were kind of not going so hot and I was kind of down in the dumps because I was, I felt like I was on top of the mountain and everything was going really well and then things changed and then I was just disappointed because I wanted everything to be great again. But I don't know how I even got to that point because I know it and everyone knows it deep down. Life isn't perfect. Life is never going to be problem free. You always have to keep working, setting goals, keeping your your eyes forward and doing what you need to do to make the future great. Um, so I'm back to the lesson that I was talking about that I learned in the first part of this. I said I learned a lesson and it's basically that, that when things are going well, it's great to enjoy it, but just, I don't know, I just, have a ten, we have a tendency of, of just neglecting other things when everything's going right. So, basically what I learned is, life is always, it always has challenges, it's always, there's always some kind of struggle, or even when things are going right, you gotta keep preparing for the future working hard. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to finish the video out kind of sharing with you guys some of the goals I have set for this uh, 2012 coming up. Um, first off, I want to, um, I want to, it sounds so cliche, everyone wants to do this, everyone does it. I'm going to get a gym membership and this isn't too big of a deal for me because I actually really enjoy working out. Um, I have a uh, kind of a Smith gym kind of thing at my parents' house, but when I moved out of my parents' house, I didn't have it, so I haven't been working out as much. So I'm gonna get a gym membership. I'm gonna be working out consistently again. Um, and what else? I actually, I think I'm going to try 
my hand at some yoga. <laughs> I never thought that I would say that. I've never really been much of a believer in yoga, but I think I'm gonna try it. Um, yeah, I've just, I, everyone, not everyone, but I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm so tight. Me, I am. I, my muscles are so tight. And I feel like I just keep getting tighter and tighter. So it's time for me to hit up some yoga. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just a couple general physical goals I'm going to do. Um, I have some personal spiritual goals that I that I have set out for myself. Um, socially, I just want to just become more skilled socially and basically to accomplish that just um, just speaking more um, out in social events like I don't know I'm not really I wouldn't consider myself a shy person or or an introvert but a lot of people consider me that way just because I don't know I, I actually am pretty quiet around new people until you get to know me and then I'm quite talkative <laughs> but but uh, I'm gonna work on coming out of my shell more um, and just just being a little more outgoing with people I haven't met before um, but yeah those are just some of my general goals for the for the new year um, but put in the comments I, I'm interested to hear what what some of your guys goals are for the new year um, but I hope I can get this out before the new year is already here, but I don't know, it might be too late. Man, what what is going on? Like, I thought there were street lights here. This is, it's so dark here and there's a fog. It is, it is 2 a.m., it's about 2.20 a.m. And it is dark and it's foggy and there's no street lights. <laughs> so here's one of my goals for this year, get home, alive <laughs> um, but yeah put in the comments some of your guys goals uh, I'm interested to hear and and yeah but that's basically it for for this two-part series I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're excited for the new year like I am um, but if you don't set out some goals you might want to give it a try it's I've just found some great results from just getting clear on what I want to get out of the next year and accomplishing it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share a few with you guys. I have them all written down, but I just wanted to, to give you guys a little idea um, what I got going for the next year. But yeah, let me know what, what your plans are for the new year. But anyway, thanks for joining me on this drive, and I will talk to you later.